You've heard about that saying, hindsight 2020, right? Well, in the unlikely case that you haven't, it basically refers to this feeling we get after something has happened about how we could have done things differently or better. It's a feeling of regret that you sometimes get for not doing things differently. Generally, hindsight is considered useless, but that's not quite correct. Contrary to popular belief, hindsight can actually be useful and it can help you going forward. And that's something you learn about how to do in today's talk. Listen to the podcast to learn more. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of the Growth Philosophy Podcast, a bite-sized weekly podcast focused on empowering you to think better and upgrade your life. By the way, if you want to learn more about thinking better, adopting a better mindset and upgrading your life, be sure to hit the subscribe button so you get notified the next time a talk like this comes out on the podcast. And with that, let's begin. And let's talk about hindsight. One of the biggest challenges or ironies in life is that it is incredibly easy to know exactly what to do and know so with absolute certainty when the thing has already happened. Have you ever met people who tell you what you should have done after something has already happened? Well, those people generally can be annoying. The challenge though is that we ourselves often turn out to be those people. And what's even worse is that the target of such advice is usually ourselves. If you have ever thought to yourself how you should have done things differently, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I have a sneaking suspicion that you are guilty of this. How do I know? Because I've done that myself and also because it is a very, very common thing to do. Hindsight regret is a really, really common thing to do, but it hardly ever helps. The problem with hindsight regret is that there is no way to turn back time. Yes, you might think, gosh, should have done this or that or the other, but having that insight after the thing has already happened does not change anything. Because what has happened has already happened and there is absolutely no way that you can go back in time and do things over. That's not to say though that hindsight is not useful. Not at all. It certainly can be useful. Because even though you might not be able to change anything in the past, what you can do is learn from that experience. You might not be able to do anything about what has already happened but you certainly can use that knowledge and insight to do things better in the future. That's how you can truly unlock the power of hindsight. And that is how you can benefit from it. So hindsight is not useless. It can actually be very useful. And you can use that insight, not for what has already happened, but rather for what can or will happen. Hindsight can be very instructive and useful, insightful and even valuable in that sense. It can help you do things better in the future and can also help you avoid setbacks, mistakes and challenges. What you should not do though is beat yourself up over what or how you could have done things better. Having that insight certainly is useful, as you've learned, But using that information to create negative feedback loops or endless loops of regret does not help. What that sort of hindsight regret does do, however, is harm you. When you use hindsight information to sink into regret about what could have happened, or worse, when you hold on to that information to beat yourself up over and over about how you could have or should have done things differently, It does not magically change the past or make things better. It simply degrades the quality of your life right now. It does not help. Holding on to regrets like that only brings you down and does absolutely nothing to help you move forward. Remember, what has happened cannot unhappen. And what's been done cannot be undone. 
You cannot turn back time and you cannot change the past. And you absolutely cannot alter things that have already happened. This is one of the reasons why it is really important to think about the consequences of your actions before you act. Because what's done can really be undone. And also because crying over spilt milk doesn't reverse the spilling, but it does create more agony and prolongs your suffering. That's the thing with hindsight regret. It doesn't really change anything, but what it does do is make you suffer more and longer. And the longer you think about the regrets about something that has already happened, the longer you experience the agony. That's a game that you can never win. So indulging in hindsight regret isn't a very smart thing to do. The fact is that what's done is done and what's happened has happened. No amount of regret and self-flagellation or beating yourself up will change what has already happened. So don't beat yourself up over what could have happened. The alternative, which is learning from your experiences, is the better option and the smarter option. So be smart and harness the power of hindsight by learning from what has already happened. Learn from it because it can be a valuable and even a transformative source of information for your future. That whatever you do, do not use hindsight to beat yourself up or bring yourself down. That's a terrible thing to do to yourself because when you do that, you'll only create more pain and you'll do that over something that has already happened, over something that you cannot change no matter how much you try. It's senseless agony. It makes no sense whatsoever to cause yourself pain over something that has already happened. And you'll know the truth of that yourself if you just take a moment to really think about it. Don't use your past to cause your present and your future self pain and agony. Learn from your hindsight and maybe even from the hindsight of others, but don't use it to create regret. Remember, now the present moment is all you have. So make the most of it and use hindsight as a source for lessons rather than as a tool of pain. This brings us to the end of this talk. Hopefully you gained a lot from this. If you like this talk, be sure to like and subscribe to the podcast so you don't miss out on any of my future talks. I'll look forward to catching you again next week. Have a great week, everyone. Take care of yourselves and don't forget, think better to upgrade your life.